Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and yet another Epic Universe update. Um, things are progressing quite nicely. All thanks to Bio Reconstruct again for the aerial shots that he provides us with every single one of these updates. Of course, follow him on Twitter for amazing, amazing updates from all Orlando theme parks. But you can see all four lands and the uh, structures in the central hub are progressing very, very nicely. So let's take a deep dive into each section right now, starting with the carousel in the hub. So taking a look in the hub, you can see the carousel or the uh, frame for the rumored constellation carousel. That's the rumored name for this attraction is fully, um, fully wrapped in, fully poured. And you can see the supports for the dome structure that will be surrounding the carousel starting to be poured right now. And the red crane is assisting with those supports and assisting with the eventual dome structure. They'll be housing this potential mock water ride. Moving on over to Dark Universe, not too much has changed here with the two attractions. Is they're mostly done with one, of course, is mostly or all inside, so can't see much too much there. And the other one is the coaster, and the track is done, and the show showtunes are done. We'll be just looking for a queue space and theming. And, but we'll have to wait till all the dirt is moved for that. But here's just an overview of the land of the min win windmill restaurant to the right hand side above the major scaffolding for the e-ticket coaster, e-ticket dark ride. Speaking of this e-ticket e dark ride, let's take a look at the village and the scaffolding. The village is all fully framed and ready to go. Um, we'll have quick service restaurants as well as gift shops here. And lots of scaffolding exists on the main ride show building as well. And there's the barn structure still looking black waiting for its theming, its final facade theming in the werewolf coaster. Here's an overhead chart of the land with the village, the portal, the e-ticket coaster, the uh, e-ticket ride, the coaster, as well as the barbecue restaurant, um, a rumored barbecue restaurant on the hub. And that's that big circular building to the left hand side there looks pretty good i mean i feel like this will be might might be one of the, the first lands to start getting their landscaping because it is a sm on the smaller side and less intricate compared to the other three lands so i feel like we should start seeing some good progress on the uh this land pretty soon and we'll start seeing roofs to the buildings and more theming on the restaurants as well so it should be pretty fun to see the village sprout up moving on to the hotels you can see the rumored terra luna hotel is just about complete i mean at least complete as in topped out just waiting for some facade work and that's it i mean the actual build of the hotel seems to be pretty complete it's gonna have a sister hotel in the dirt plot to the south of that of its hotel and That'll be probably built the same way, um, prefab, so it'll be built off-site and built, um, you know, they'll just stack it on top of each other like Legos. And these things should open pretty, pretty, pretty quickly, potentially even maybe next year before the hotel, or the Epic Universe even opens. The End Park Hotel, though, is still struggling, only on level one still. Um, this should start going up much faster. I don't know if they're doing prefab, if they're building this off-site, but if they're doing the traditional construction way, this should go uh, by much faster when some of the other lands start to get more completed and crews will shift over to this hotel and then should sprout up quite quickly in time for the park's opening in September 2025. Moving on over to how to train your dragon. You can see this particular building. Not sure if this is going to be a gift shop or a restaurant, probably just a gift shop, but it looks almost like Hiccup's house or something from the Isle of Burke, or like a building in the Isle of Burke. But I'm going to guess maybe Hiccup's house. This could be a potential meet and greet area. Um, and it's not a rumor. I'm just speculating on what this particular area. If it is Hiccup's house, could you can meet maybe Hiccup and meet his dad over there. It'd be cool. A little meet and greet spot. Maybe elaborate meet, meet and greet like uh, Mickey and Minnie's houses in Toontown. Moving on towards the theater where it is rumored that Untrainable will be the show here. It is... Looking about the same from last time, they're still working on the seating and the main stage area, but the pre-show area and the queue where everyone's going to wait 
um, is all topped off. It's sealed up and looks pretty good and ready to go. Moving out into the center of the area, you can see the How to Train area. The Great Hall is all covered up, has its roof on and ready to receive uh, some theming. It's all concrete right now. The coaster, you can see it weaving in and out of the land. It'll be dipping through water and kind of just traversing the whole land as you ride on the back of your own dragon, which would be pretty awesome. Moving on towards the uh, next shot, you see the Great Hall Restaurant, a better view over here, and a better shot of that coaster and just how massive it is. It'll be a family friendly coaster, though, probably no more than 50 miles per hour, and uh, should be very fun for. Uh, the whole family and nice has some nice kinetic energy to the land as well taking a closer look at the coaster this particular helix here after it, it dives under the water that area is getting some more rock work and all the, the track is covered because um, of nearby dust but yeah track should be complete or if not if it isn't already for the how to dragon coaster and this particular area with the water turned on will look absolutely gorgeous and moving on to a, a overview of the How to Train Your Dragon area, you can see there's the statues of the Isle of Burke and the ships um, in the pond that will be over, you know, across the bridge. We go past the statues and the ships into the Isle of Burke, and you can see that all being worked on here in the foreground. Not too much um, change from last week or from a couple of weeks ago, but it's good to see progress nonetheless. Moving back over to the hub, here's, uh, here's a restaurant. Here. I'm not sure where this restaurant is going to be. Be sure to check out Alicia Sello's awesome videos for that. Um, she breaks down the names of the restaurants and everything and what types of restaurants they're going to be. This is a restaurant in the hub and this is a smallish restaurant. Maybe maybe a quick service or cafe type restaurant. And yeah, it's getting its roof on. But still has a little bit of ways to go. Has to get its the walls and up and ready to go. Here is this particular restaurant again. You can see that's actually at the exit of Super Nintendo World. Looks like the exit war pipe, which is that slab of diagonal concrete there, is gonna either go through or right next to this restaurant. Probably through an area where there'll probably be like bathrooms and everything. Kind of like how you exit Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood, where you exit right by the bathrooms to Jurassic World and then there's Jurassic Cafe. I feel like there'll be a similar situation in this particular area. Speaking of Super Nintendo World, let's move right on in there with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong looking absolutely fantastic. No real theming elements yet. The track looks to be complete um, and the fake track as well. Taking a look at a different angle, you can see the portions of the lift hill as well as a backhoe and some earth movies are working on the dirt over there as they uh, look to complete the circuit and maybe install some theming elements soon. One thing that is themed is the wall. The back wall is starting to get that temple theming, that show building, the one and only show building in the Donkey Kong coaster, which will be themed to a temple. It's getting its temple theming and has the lift till then. You can see it's not actually, I said it was a launch lift till, but no. Upon further inspection, you can see a chain lift till there. So that'd be cool, a little chain lift. And makes more sense because there's not a lot of space there. And, you know, I feel like to for the pacing of the roller coaster, a chain lift works better than just a launch up that hill. Moving over to the Mushroom Kingdom, you see a lot of the weatherproofing and drywall being propped up on the facades in Mario Bar Car Building. In particular, looks green as well as some of the Yoshi sections of Yoshi and the, the green hills are yellow as they move to the next phase of the construction progress there. Taking a straight down overshot view of the Mushroom Kingdom, see just how compact but also how much bigger it is than you know Hollywood and it's slightly bigger than Japan's as well so the Yoshi people movers looking all good all the track is done there a lot more concrete work to uh, has been completed as well just a small dirt patch left on the first floor of the Mushroom Kingdom which is pretty decent that one this land should be finished again right on time or maybe even a little bit earlier but yeah great progress on Super Nintendo World now let's hop on over to the Wizarding World. Going to the Wizarding World, we have tons of progress here. Look at this overhead shot. Just about all the buildings are already up and all the facades are already up and starting to get themed. A lot of them have their facades already on. That beautiful Parisian looking facade looks 
absolutely gorgeous in fact looks so gorgeous let's take a closer look yeah look, look at that um uh, that Parisian courtyard over there I mean it looks um, this area is basically the Diagon Alley of Paris which is why the quarters are so tight and the buildings are so so tall this will be some a very very immersive themed land and I actually cannot wait to see walk through and see all the shops you can see the scaffolding is rising and it looks like stair steps um, of scaffolding right there on this particular building see the windows being put in on the roof of these this particular building and the theming in the roof really starting to come together um, this ride this land will have one massive e-ticket variety themes the ministry of magic and the theater show attractions along along with several several shops and restaurants so that's gonna do it for this week's universal studios or universal epic universe update what do you guys think of the park and the progress of it so far let me know let me know what you guys think What's your most anticipated land and most anticipated rumored ride? And what, what would you add as an expansion to Epic Universe and their two massive expansion plots? Let me know all that in the comments below. Subscribe for more Epic Universe updates and more theme park updates in general. And as always, have an epic day.